Hi everyone team, this is Kumar from Triotech. So today in this video, we are going to talk about how to enable absence bidding in the Fusion absence management module. So as we all know, in Fusion applications, in one of the quarterly release, that is in 23D, last year, fourth quarterly release, we got a new option in our absence management module, that is absence bidding when an employee applying the leave in the system. So today we will see how to enable that absence bidding in the system and how to work out in the system with respect to, to this absence bidding. Like when an employee applying, what is this concept of absence bidding? We will see in the video today. Okay, so let me get into the system. First of all, what is this absence bidding is about? Okay. So let me go to the system and explain you. So if you could see here in one of the quarterly release functionality, that is vacation bidding is the concept, nothing but absence bidding also. So in this absence bidding concept, employee, when he applying the leave in the self-service, okay, he will be getting the options of first preference and second preference. Like let's suppose employee planning to apply the leave. Uh, let's say in the month of April, he is planning to go on a vacation from uh, 10th to 12th. That is from Wednesday to Friday, he is planning for a vacation. Either he want to go between 10th and 12th or he might go for vacation on 24th to 26th. Means the first preference of the employee is what in the second week of April, that is from 10th to 12th, three days, or in the last week, that is 24, 25, 26. Anything is okay to the employee, let's say. So he can bid his leave with the management or with the manager team. So whenever employee applying the leave in the system, he will get two options like priority one and second, I mean, first preference and second preference. So while he applying first bunch of entry as a first preference, he will give 10th to 12th and second preference, he will give 24 to 26. So when we go to the manager self-service, when manager trying to approve the leave, in the absence planning work area, manager can able to see two leave entries about the employee. So depending upon the situation there, manager can take the decision whether he want to approve the first entry or the second entry. And he can approve whatever he want as per the requirement during that time with respect to that person. So ultimately, the concept of bidding is nothing but employee given with a provision to apply the leave as per his priorities. I mean, preferences, he can apply the leave in the system. Okay. So let us get into the application and let us see how it is going to work. So let me go to the system. So if at all, if you want to enable the concept of bidding in the system, as we all know, absence plan is required. Let's say accrual plan. Basically, this bidding concept currently enabled for accruals and some of the other types of plans only, not for everything. So let's take up an accrual plan as an example. So in the system, an absence plan of accrual type is needed and an absence type. So basically in the system, if you want to enable the bidding, we have to go to absence type. So go to my client group and then I'm going to absences. Then I'm going to absence types. So let's say already in the system, I have one absence type defined. That is Tata annual leave. Let's say in, in, in one of the Indian legislation, I defined already this team. So here you will have, whenever you configuring the leave, or let's say if I take the new absence type in the system, let's assume I'm creating a new absence type. So in, in any LDG that you take, okay then pattern, generic absence I'm going. And then here, if you see team, on the very first tab, on the type attributes, we have the enable bidding concept. 
if you enable this option at your absence type level, then only in the system, when an employee applying this absence type, he will get that bidding feature enabled for this absence type. And moreover, when you are enabling the bidding in the plans and reason, whatever the plan we are enrolling with this particular type, that should be accrual plan. Okay. So here is the place where we have to enable the bidding in the system. So already I configured one absence plan and one absence type in the system. That is, if I search with my type, that is Tata annual leave. So for this leave type, when I'm configuring team, okay, it was disabled as of now. I have disabled it, I have not enabled. And what is a plan assigned to this particular type? Tata annual leave accrual plan I enabled. Now take this scenario team. I have a plan defined and I have a type defined in the system. So in the front end, let me go to the employee self-service who already enrolled with this plan and check it out, whether that bidding enabled for this type or not. So let me go to another window. In my another window, I logged in with one of the employee for whom this Tata annual leave plan assigned team. That assigning part we already know. So I'm not explaining you how to assign the absence plan to the employee. Let's take an example team. This is one of the employee, Mahesh Kumar is there, for whom absence plan that is Tata annual leave and Tata annual leave type assigned team. So where we have to go in the fusion system in order to apply the leave, I mean, if an employee want to apply the leave from his self-service team under me, right? Under me, he will go to time and absences, right? Time and absences. And under time and absences, here we can able to apply the leave, check the balances or existing leaves if you want to check. That all you can able to check it out team. When you are applying the leave or if you want to apply the leave with this concept of bidding, you can go to this absence bid. This is the new functionality came in the system in our 23D release. Go to absence bid and here team, whatever the leave types that employee assigned within the system, that all leave types, we can able to check it out. So I came to new absence bid and then if I click on the absence type, none of the absence types are coming up. Why? Is it something the eligibility issue or is it something the absence plan or type not eligible to this employee? In that case, let me show you this thing. Okay, same as an employee, I'm coming to time and absence, right? And then I'm going to add absence team, like the usual screen where an employee can apply the leave, right? Now see, when I'm trying to apply the leave in the add absence button, Okay, now I came to new absence. If I scroll down, if I click on this, see, here I can able to see all the uh, leaves that what employee eligible for casual leave. Okay, casual leave, then privilege leave, sick leave, annual leave. But when I'm trying to go for bidding, it's not showing up any, any type of leave. What could be the reason? When these leave types configured in the system, that bidding was not allowed or enabled. Now see team, just I will cancel this transaction as of now. Now I'm going to my another window where the absence type configuration already there open here. Let me do one thing. Let me, let me enable that absence bidding here. Okay. So go to the type attributes. Okay. Then edit, correct, and then I'm enabling the bidding for this Tata annual leave. Okay. Now let me click on save and close. Now let me go to the absence self-service of an employee team. I mean, employee self-service. Under me, I came to time and absence. Now if I go to this absence bid, right? Now if I go to this absence bid, I can able to see the absence type coming up here team. 
Now see in the new absence bid, if I search for my absence type, here I can able to see team. What is that? Tata annual leave. Earlier it was not available. Why? Because at this type level, I have not enabled the bidding concept. Now I enabled it. That is why when an employee trying to apply the leave, that leave type is showing to me here. Now let me select that leave, which employee want to apply. And here see team, first preference and, and the second preference. Now the same requirement I'm filling here team. So currently employee applying from 9th to 9th to 11th April. Okay, that is for three days. So here, after giving the first preference, next we have to give the second preference. Like we can able to check box here so that the second preference will be enabled here. So you can give the first preference, whatever the dates you want. And in the second preference, whatever the dates you want. So basically we have an issue with the instance team. That is why I have taken the picture and I'm showing you how the absence bidding work area will be. So while an employee applying the leave in the system in his self-service, he can go to me, time and absence, and then he can use this bidding functionality, which Oracle give, came up with newly in the system, right? So when employee applying the bid, first preference and second preference team, once he click on the submit button, then the bidding will be submitted in the system. Now manager, when he log in into the system, and when he go to his absence planning work area under my team, he can able to check two preferences of the employee. So manager can check during that time if any other employee also applying, whether I, he want to allow him in his first preference or second preference and manager can take the decision, which one he want to approve and which one he want to reject. So whatever the bid he approves, that will be converted into absence entry so that you can able to find that as a leave entry in the existing absences work area for the employee. So this is about the concept of bidding in the system team, which is a new functionality came in the absence management module. So if you like this video, please like the video, share the video, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel.